Want to keep up with the latest Gary Plays videos? Be sure to subscribe and click that bell. Yo, yo, people, get you in here for another video. So, guys, before we get started with this video, I just want to quickly let you guys know something. Um, and that is that, if you guys didn't know, uh, besides doing YouTube videos and stuff, I'm also a camp counselor during the day. And, yeah, I, I, I had a tiring day. So, I'm a little bit, I, I don't know, my voice sounds a little bit weird. I hope I don't have any voice cracks during this video. I'm almost 18. Let's hope puberty's over. Either way, though, let's go ahead, guys, and get started. So, what we're going to be doing, guys, is we're going to be rescuing a vehicle that is submerged in water, and we're going to be uh, just simply picking up a vehicle to actually uh, bring to our repair shop. So, should be pretty cool. Uh, the vehicle that we have to rescue will just scrap because, uh, at least to my knowledge, it's going to be well past its recovery point. Um, but yeah, what we'll do, guys, is we'll open these up. Now, the first vehicle, here's the thing about it, okay? The first vehicle, I know it's not going to fit on our trailer that well. so Or on our on our record that well. So we just got to kind of keep that in mind. It's going to be a little bit goofy looking. Um, it's going to be a bit unrealistic to put on here. But it technically should fit on. It just, with the way the collision is uh, with the vehicle's... It doesn't go on that smoothly, which I don't know. It's okay, uh, but either way, we'll see that shortly. It, w it should still be kind of cool. Let's go over here. We'll close this gate. There we go. And I think I know where we have to go. Okay. Do you see right there what happened in the camera? Why does that happen? Oh no. Okay. We were like we were looking the right direction. We we're looking forward, and then it just shot our head backwards. I don't know why it does that. It's whenever I first like get in a vehicle after launching the game. It's a little bit weird, but I don't know. It's okay, I guess. <laughs> Let's go ahead. We'll turn here. There we go. We'll just drive this down. So I think technically the vehicle we're going to be getting should run. It's just it's not going to be able to be that trustworthy. So I don't want to drive it a long distance, right? And that's obviously why we have to pick it up just because the chances of it breaking on the road are so high. It's just it's not road safe. And they know that. I think it was sitting for a while. I believe it was even like in like outside in like mud. So it should be probably a bit dirty. Might be a bit scratched up. We will see the condition. It is a Ford. So they're built, they're built pretty strong. Uh, I would say they're built to last. Hee <laughs> hee. But yeah. Anyways, let's go ahead and just keep driving. It's around field 34 on the map. So we can open this up and see. So we're almost at field 34. It's just kind of at the bottom. You actually see the little dot on the map. But it's pretty cool. And the other vehicle we're getting is actually kind of close. Let's go ahead. We'll slow down. Also, so this map we're on, guys, it is made by Anthony and Experimental's Modding. So big shout out to them, especially to Anthony. Um, they, they did an amazing job on this map. I don't believe it's in its final stage yet. It seems like there is, they're still definitely working on it. But they're doing good so far. I'll keep you guys updated if it does become public at any point in time. So, yeah, I'll just check that out. And if it does, I will link it on my website. But for now, I'll just throw in the credits and the map name on there. I think it's called Wind Chaser or something. I, I, I could be wrong. I don't know. But to my knowledge, the current one we have is private. I saw a map with the same name on um, like Mod Hub or something. But it seemed like it might have been like a fake one. I, I really don't know. I really don't know, but it's I, the one I currently have. Uh, the squad helped me get access to it, so shout out to Grant for doing that. But yeah, no, it's it's really cool. It's really really cool. Looking forward to using it more. There's already like I could see someone playing on this map for if you do like lots of farming and stuff too. I could see you playing on this map for like tens of hours, um, probably even hundreds of hours, which is really cool. Either way, let's go ahead and... Oh, actually, you know what? No, drive forward a bit. Okay, before that unfolds... There we go. I want to turn around the vehicle. Uh, by the way, just fun fact. This is actually the second time I'm recording this video. It didn't go too good the first time, so... Yeah, I was almost done actually recording. I had to reset everything. It was a mess. But let's turn this around. I feel like if we turn it around, we might have a better chance of it fitting. Because then we don't have that big back part with the wheels hanging off, right? I don't know. We will see. We will see. So 
but here we go. So this is made by Spam's modding. It's called a Ford OBS, I want to say. Reg, reg cab. I believe that's what it says. We will check in a second. Um, okay, but here we go. Yeah, okay, that fit on a lot better. I had it the other way in my first take for this video. So, happy with that. Now, I don't know if it locks down, if it straps down. I don't think it does. So, that's kind of an issue. Yeah, it definitely doesn't. So, we're just going to have to kind of pull it with it. There we go. Until we get, like, a way to just strap down or just lock all vehicles, which is something we were fortunate enough to have in the last game, um, like FS17. But, yeah, until we get that, unless the vehicle has that strapping... Uh, feature then like you see right now th these are not doing anything but yeah we're gonna have to deal with that for now so either way let's go ahead uh we'll close this door there's nothing really in here and actually another thing to note there's no door here so someone could just get in here but actually there's no door on the other side either it's just like an uh, opening but still better to close it just to be nice in case they do put anything valuable it's harder to see that what's in there there we go. Okay. We'll go over this way. Again, hopefully this doesn't fall off. And okay, there is a little bit of a bump here. Let's watch that. Okay, a big bump. Ooh, we almost bottomed out at our front there. Okay, there we go. It seemed to be good now. So we'll just drive back. Should be pretty simple from here. So we're pretty happy about that. Guys, also, uh, just a few things. Guys. Let me know down below how you're doing. It's, I, I don't know if I'll be able to stream this weekend, so I just want to know now since, yeah, again, I, I want to stream this weekend. You guys seem to be loving the streams, but they do take quite a while to do, uh, and obviously YouTube doesn't really promote the live streams at all after, like, I'm yet to have a live stream actually, like, kind of, like, gain a lot of views afterwards. Uh, the best it will do, like, if, let's say the stream gets a thousand views on live, which we've only ever had once. Uh, which was actually last weekend, but either way, when that happened, um, I think now the stream, I don't even know if it's up to 2,000 views, right? So, but when, like, a video, though, once it's out, out however it does on, like, the first hour or two, it's going to keep growing over time quite a bit. So, I don't know, that's kind of, like, the only downside about live streaming, but I know you guys like it, so I do try to do as many live streams as I can. The other thing as well is, I don't know what my schedule is this weekend, so if I can have like videos, if I know I'm gonna be out for two days, I can pre-record videos, and then those can go up when I'm out, right? Without you guys even knowing. But, for live streams, I gotta be there live at that time. So it's a lot harder. And it's my it's also my apologies, because with these recent streams, uh, I, I do give you guys kind of an advance notice on Discord. Well, I first let people know on Discord when I'm going to go live, like, as far in advance as I can. But it's usually, like, not until 30 minutes before the stream when I really notify on YouTube. So, definitely recommend you join the Discord server if you guys want to know about live streams and videos and everything. Like, for example, there's one day this week. We try doing daily uploads, but there's one day uh, I was not able to get a video out. The video is still rendering, actually, after it was supposed to be uploaded. And I had stuff to do. Um, and just a whole bunch of things. So we didn't really get that video out there on time, which meant I just did it the next, I posted it the next day. And then I could also make a thumbnail and do all that for it. Okay, so this definitely slid back, as you guys can tell. What if we slam our brakes? I was hoping that would go forward a bit. That is not the case. We're close though, so hopefully this will stay on. We will see. All these turns is what scares me the most. Uh, okay, actually, we'll bring this back. So, again, this is a vehicle that we know it runs a bit, so we can recover it. Also, you see how much this paint's chipped. Like, wow. And it is so muddy. Now, we do have a new cool way to clean these vehicles, which I will be showing you guys here in the next few videos. But we're going to bring this over here for now. There we go. Let's open that up. Luckily, our vehicle is not going to be hit. Sometimes we park way too close, and that door just picks us up. And that's never fun. Never, ever good when that happens. Oh, okay. That wheel is like kind of glitching through there a bit. See, that's what was happening the time before. That should not be down inside there. Like, what? Is it sliding? I don't know. That 
I, I, I did not put that there. But here, we'll go and let's just drop this. Here, you know what? Can we, this might be a bad idea, but can we go up on top of here? And then go like this? That, that might be a bad idea. Let's see what happens here. Um, okay. Probably not that good for a vehicle, but it's off. So there we go. And we'll back this up. And we are good. There we go. So thank you again, Chop Shop, for making this GP edition of this shop. Um, I don't know if this shop's out yet. Like, I, I, don't, I don't think the GP one is going public ever, but... Like, the shop itself without the GP logo, uh, like this version, I don't know if it's out yet. It might be. I know he planned on having it out the other day, he told me, but he just a few things happened and he wasn't able to get it out when he wanted to. But it's still, it, it should be out soon if it's not out already. Um, if I'm wrong about that, then my apologies. But either way, you can get a very similar shop, nevertheless, on his website uh, or on his Facebook page, Shop Chop Shop Modding. As always, I will link all the mods I use. For example, this um, is placed right here by Late Night Custom Creations. This scrapyard was made by them. So, yeah, shout out to them. But either way, guys, so I think what we're going to do, we need a tow truck and we need a rollback. So, how should we do this? We need, okay, here's our issue. We, as you guys know, Two of these tow trucks are way too light. This one literally can pull nothing. And this one has is, is also quite light. So this is our heaviest one we have. And we currently don't have a rollback. Or um, uh, what's it called? A rotator. We don't have a rotator with us. So I don't know. Either way, before we continue, I'm going to just get that onto here. Hopefully it will fit. But when I'm doing that, here's a message from our sponsor. Join Lambamod's Patreon page to instantly receive access to some amazing modern creations. You will get early access to Lambo, Winston, and Beardshot's awesome ideas. On top of all that, you will get cool textures and other unique modding tools. Join today using the link below. Okay guys, so here we go. Let's get going. I got this on here. Yeah, it's it's a tight fit. It's definitely a tight fit. Uh, we do have those extra wheels at the back, so I feel fine having it on here. Again, I would take one of the smaller trucks, but we just don't have space. And, guys, the other thing, too, with their other tow trucks, uh, they don't have, like, a bar we can... Oh, that's sliding a lot already. Look at that. Well, okay, let's just leave that there. Um, uh, we, I think we made that worse. We definitely did. Anyways, hopefully this stays on. We will see. But, uh, they don't have, like, that, like, bar to, like, lock the wheels on. Now, I know Excelli... Uh, I think that's his name. He's working on it, though. So, hopefully we get that in the future. Um, I don't know. Also, just another time. I know I've said this a lot, but if anyone wants to send me one of those nice rotators a bit early, I would greatly appreciate it. I've had not so great luck trying to get my hands on those so far. But, yeah, hopefully hopefully you can someday. But, yeah, I'm, I'm guys, Wood Meadow Farms, when they release it, that's going to be cool. Um, it seems like, I, guys, honestly, it seems like there's no chance of me getting that one early, uh, from being honest with you guys. I have talked to them about other stuff, and I don't know. I don't know. Anyways, um, yeah, and then Excelli, uh, that, he, he's really just, he's, he works hard on his mods. I'm not even going to try pushing to get that early or anything, just because, uh, okay, I'm not saying Wood Meadow Farms doesn't work hard, hard on their mods, but. Uh, he, Excelli has a lot on his plate, and he doesn't always get credit for his work, which I always feel bad for. Uh, that's even my fault. Lots of time, I say Expendables modding instead of him, just because I see his stuff posted on Expendables modding, right? So, I, I I do apologize for that. I really I really do. Also, we went a really weird way here, so that's okay though. Let's go ahead and we'll turn here. Uh, but yeah, so hopefully we can get those in. The near future. I really don't know though. I, I think he plans on making them public. Um, to my knowledge, Jordan Meadow Farms trucks are going to be public. I think it might be out for the Patreon supporters. I, I, I really don't know. I really do not know. I've been so busy recently, guys. If you guys didn't know, so I 
have to wake up at like 7.15 a.m. That's when my first alarm goes off. And I have to be at work by 8.30. Um, and then I have meetings for the first 30 minutes. And then I have campers that come because I work at a summer camp. And then I'm there. Campers leave at 3.30. And then at 4 is when... I only get a 30-minute break during the day as well. Um, and then at 4 is when I get to leave because it's end-of-the-day meetings. And then I have to come home. And right away, like instantly, the second I get home, I can't do anything else besides start editing because I have to have my video out by 5.30. So, and that that's for uh, weekdays. Weekends, it's a bit different, but weekdays, that's the schedule. So it's kind of crazy. And then once that's out at 5.30, I need to look for mods um, and then start setting up my next video. And then I have to record the next video and then I go to bed. That's really how my day goes. Uh, within that time, I find somewhere to eat, or like, I find some time to eat. Usually, it's after, right when I'm done editing uh, and uploading, and I've added the mods to my website and everything, that's when I usually will take like a 30 minute break before I start working on the following day's video. And then, yeah, so that's all recorded. And then the following day, same process, and then I go edit right when I get home. So it, it works. Uh, I don't really like the schedule much. I would love to get to the point where I can at least get some of the editing done the previous night, but I'm always just too tired. Like, right now is probably the earliest I've recorded in a while, and it is 7.35 p.m. So, yeah. I keep it, end up recording at, like, 9, but the latest I really want to record is, like, 8. Because once it's, like, 9, I find that I sometimes get a bit tired, just because, like, usually I won't be tired, like, at normal times, but because I work in a summer camp, I do biking all day, right, guys? So, kind of crazy. Uh, it it gets tiring. It gets really tiring. Okay, this is stuck, isn't it? Yeah, okay, we're going to have to just lift this up, because as you guys saw, it was completely stuck there. So, we'll move this forward. That wasn't the most realistic of things, but that's okay. Anyways, let's go ahead. We will, uh, oh, we actually have to get our hook off. So there we go. Now, I don't know if this hook's even going to attach. I'm really hoping it's going to, or else I don't know how we're going to do this. But here it is, guys. I don't know how this got in the water. Uh, yep, it does attach. Perfect. Okay, and then please attach to the right vehicle. Yes, it did. Okay. We'll go here. We'll turn on our lights. Turn on our hazards. Whoops. Not a turn signal. Our hazards. Uh... Just turn on all of our lights as well, actually. And then turn on the vehicle, and we can start winching in. So again, this is our heaviest vehicle, and you can see it does slide a bit. That's why I really want one of those other ones. But here we go, guys. See how this does. It's going pretty good. There we go. Yeah. Yeah, you see, like, this is definitely sliding. You can imagine, the other ones, like, they literally... All they like they will just flip backwards. It's it's kind of funny sometimes, but when you have to do stuff, it's not that good. I, I hope they put out an update because I know the mod creator knows about the issue. But yeah, these these tow trucks, by the way, are currently public. I'll link them on my website. Like always, all the mods will be linked. Uh, so yeah, it should be should be pretty cool. I uh, guys, I get comments all the time asking where to get mods, and I just tell them check the description. <laughs> okay. Will we? No, no. I, I was going to say, could we just drive like this? But it's going to be moving around too much. So let's go ahead. We'll detach. And then we'll actually get this hook off as well. Just because I, I'm going to... I want to try keeping our hooks like separate like per vehicle, right? It's kind of confusing, but you'll see what I mean in a second here. Okay, so let's put this here. Do not fall through the ground. Perfect. Okay. And then we'll just have to leave this here for now. I'll move that next video uh, or off camera. And let's drop this hook. There we go. And then bring this hook over here. Go like this and attach up. Nice. Okay. So let's get this thing aligned as best as we can at least. Oh, that truck truck's kind of in the way. It's not too bad. Uh, it should be okay. Okay. Yeah, it should be okay. Let's bring this back. Turn on our lights. Lots of lights on this thing. By the way, it's Lambo Mods. This fire station is working on right now. I'm so excited for uh, I'm I'm holding off on all this fire stuff until then. Also, we don't even have like a fire mod yet. 
like to take out fires or anything like or or like placeable fires. That's not a thing yet, so we definitely need that before we can really get into the fire series. Um but yeah, we now have a fire truck. He has a fire trailer out now, which is cool. So, yeah, I'm really looking forward to what's to come. Uh, if you guys didn't ever, if you haven't joined Lemon Mod's Discord, I recommend you do that because you really get good insight on what he's working on. Does this drop down? I can't tell. Um, here, can we just attach? And then. I, yeah, I really don't know. Okay, let's just pull this in a bit, maybe. Okay, it definitely did not strap down. So we're just going to let go, attach it again right down here, and then just gently pull. No, that's too much. We need like a gentle pull. Come on. Come on, get this right. Um, um, come on. It won't work. There we go. Just like that. You good? That's good enough. Okay. Uh, yeah, we can kind of lock that down. And let's see if this will go back now. Okay. Please stay on the good. Yes. Yes. Good job. Keep doing that. Keep doing that. There we go. And now we can get going. Perfect. So, yeah, let's just drive as we would. Does this not have hazards? Oh, it does. Look at how bad those hazards are. Okay, that was, might want to be worked on. Look at this, guys. Look at that. It is it is flashing. And it's like using the same light, so it's very hard to tell. Don't know if that would be legal. But, I don't know. At least at least it has them, I guess. Let's drive all the way back to our place. Look at this thing. This thing is beaten up. Uh, yeah, it's definitely not going to be working, so we'll just fully scrap it. Now, we do not have any... Uh, wheel loaders anything yet at our place so we won't be able to stack this anywhere quite uh, yet but hopefully next video or by the time we do next video I'm not sure yet uh, but we will be able to get a wheel loader and the equipment we had in the last series uh, the last kind of like repo rescue um, recovery series uh, hopefully we can get or the scrapyard series I should say hopefully we can get that um, again like all those vehicles well, we definitely can, so we'll, we will work on that. So here we go. Let's turn here. By the way, guys, question. Do tow trucks keep the lights on when driving down the road? Like, at, like, I think it's if they go slow speed, right? I really don't know. I never really pay that much attention to tow trucks, if I'm being 100% I'm being honest. <laughs> but either way, here we go. I, I feel like they do sometimes, right? Like, keep these, like, beacons on and stuff, right? I don't know. Let me know. You, I know you guys will tell me. I, I know also a few of you guys, like your parents or, or I'm missing some of you guys yourselves, uh, work for a tow truck company, which is kind of cool. So you guys have a lot of insight on this type of stuff. But yeah, it's kind of cool to to have that. Like I know when you do the, like, the fire department series, lots of people are firefighters who watch the videos. Same with like paramedics uh, when you do like the emergency rescue series. When we do, I, I don't know how many cops we have who watch the videos though, but yeah, either way, there's, there's lots of cool jobs that we role play in these videos and you guys, some of you guys actually have those jobs. Same with like the construction jobs, right? Uh, and lots of vehicles you check out, you guys actually own yourselves, so it's kind of cool. And more the community grows, more chances of people being able to relate and actually have a really good insight on the questions I have, like having good answers for them. It's kind of cool. Kind of cool. But either way, here we go. Open this. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. It's doing it again. Come on. I think if we remove this, that will now work, right? Yeah. I don't know why it does that. Anyways, hopefully that will stay on here, okay? There we go. And then this gate, we're going to have to do it for as well. There we go. We'll close. Oh, actually, we're just going to leave this in here, aren't we? So let's go ahead and bring that back. Oh, it is It is strapped down, isn't it? Oh, yeah, it, it was strapped down. 
Okay, that's kind of cool. Yeah, when I removed the straps, then it started moving. So that's good. Oh, actually, I think it's just that hook back there that's strapped. But pretty cool nevertheless. Okay, so we don't really have a way to get this off of here, do we? Let's just kind of... Ready? Close your eyes. Meow. No, that didn't work. Okay, come on. Uh, there we go. It's magic, guys. Okay, let's detach. We'll bring this over here. And can we... No, it doesn't want us to attach quite yet. Okay, so we'll just kind of wait with this. It's kind of weird the way it attaches. I don't know why it attaches the way it does. Like, look. Ready? Boom. What a weird spot for that to, like... Huh? Kind of unique. But either way, let's go ahead. We'll just kind of carry this over here for now. And we can kind of place this up top, maybe. Is this solid? I haven't even checked. Yes, it is. Okay. So, yeah, I think that's cool. Kind of. Maybe. Maybe works. Kind of works. Yeah. That's good. That's a good spot. Anyways, thanks for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, drop a like. Please consider subscribing. I'll see you guys in the next video. You guys are awesome. Bye-bye. Want to play games with your friends? Grab a dedicated server from G Portal. Make sure to click the link down below to receive an instant 5% discount.